Today we're celebrating the gray path to the back shore, uh, providing in perpetuity public access to the back shore. And that's a great joy certainly to us and we hope it is to you. And we have many people to thank for this, uh, particularly the Shebig and Cumberland Land Trust for the lovely inspiration and thanks to uh, Lila Bisharat and Penny Asherman and Sue Burgess for her caring support and Chris Corbett, <laughs> who labored mightily into good effect <laughs> oh. <laughs> in creating the path that is now passable. <laughs> uh, and to uh, Eric Weigel for building the essential boardwalk and the Recompense Foundation for helping to fund that. And all who've lent a hand in the creation of this uh, public place. And finally, uh, thanks to Mike Conroy and Terry Bork for renewing life in the Falmouth House uh, and for joining hands with us in the Conservancy and this community endeavor. Mike and Terry, thank you so much. <laughs> Lila suggested in the Memorial Day uh, tradition a poem of Sheila's, uh, which she has chosen for me to read. And it is called Mother's Cooking. <laughs> to understand this, you've got to understand how it was between us, that extended family each summer. In the morning, the phone would ring, and it would be my mother calling about what to have for dinner. <laughs> Lying in bed, only just waking beside my husband to the day, to the birds, I would hear the apple's heavy thump mother picking the golden transparents. Kneeling at the upstairs window, I would see her in the wet raspberries gathering as if we were a primitive tribe. <laughs> Unless it was Saturday, cartoon day, the children wouldn't wait for my limp French toast, the orange juice sour. They'd swallow a vitamin and a half glass of milk and be out the door to her kitchen for sticky buns. <laughs> I'd have a second cup of coffee on the front steps dress and walk over to the other house to find it as neat as a pin. Mother and the boys gone fishing on her note beside the plate of chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I'd eat one, take one to my father in his garden. From the chimney, mother's gull, its scraps beside the sink, would cry down to us. My father would pull an onion, drop a potato bug in a can of kerosene, we two looking over the garden doing well, the corn tasseling. String beans or squash, I didn't care, but I'd answer one or the other, and she would cook them both. <laughs> <laughs> Big meals, after dinner, she washed, I dried. The drain emptied, stove wiped. We'd walk out to see the sunset. Last night, we arrived on the island. Mother cooked lobsters, french fries, and lemon meringue pie, as usual. This morning she hasn't called. I wait, finally call her. The telephone rings eight times before she picks it up. My father died in the winter. Some day she sleeps later, she said. What shall we have for dinner? I ask her. She doesn't answer until I almost think she hasn't heard me. It's your family, she says, without emphasis, and my stomach goes empty. <laughs> and um, I wanted to say, too, that, that Mike uh, was a big help in finding the boundaries, along with Bruce Bowman, which is a real help. And um, Mike also is responsible for a lot of the wood chips. You'll see they're covering up the mud. So Mike and Terry, thank, thank you so much for really taking care of this property so nicely. Doc and, and Bertha Gray, they owned this property for many years and they preserved this property and kept much of it very natural and that's why we were able to enjoy it today the way we are. And for Sheila and her brother Bud and Phil for uh, working with the land trust and creating the easement that will provide the public access to the back beach in perpetuity as Phil said. Um, in Boardwalk, as has been mentioned, in Eric Wingle built, there are a lot of wood chips there. So most of those areas that were previously very wet to walk through, I think, are, are easily passable now. Um, I hope many of you have a chance to go down and visit. Um, we enjoy seeing that being enjoyed by the community at large. Um, 
and hope to see many of you enjoy it today and hope to see many of you back enjoying it again in the future. I remember. I value my privacy and need it, but I love those interactions and I think it's because I really believe that those moments are really meaningful when you're meeting someone where they are on the way to where they're going. About a year ago, I was out in the yard, and a man came around the bend slowly on his bike, and he stopped and he straddled it, and we started chatting. He noticed the little markers on the ground, and I pointed the way down the path, and he was excited to come back. And I really felt like we were both excited about that brief interaction. And so to me, when I think about the Greys and the Jordans and people on this island who are sharing the land and people on other islands in Pasco Bay, people in Yarmouth, people all over the state, all over the country, all over the world. To me, it's not just about uh, a love of place and a preservation of place or uh, an opportunity to meet people or a spreading of goodwill. To me, it's about a sharing, and this sharing to me is a communion. It's a chance to stop and say, we are all a part of the parcel. Thank you. Thank you.